continuing, Jesus said, Whosoever heareth these sayings of mine, and doeth them not, shall be likened unto a foolish man that built his house upon the sand. And the rains descended, and the floods came, and the winds blew, and beat upon that house, and it fell. And great was the fall of it. All of us are spiritual builders. We are building our spiritual houses. And we are building them either upon the solid rock of God's truth, or we are building them on the sinking sands of human opinions and imaginations. And if we are building them upon God's everlasting word, when the testing times of adversity come, they will stand. But if we're building them on the human opinions and theories of men, they are going to fall. And we're going to be lost in the last day. And so I would hope tonight that you're here because you recognize the advantages which are associated with hearing and heeding the word of God. Realizing that God's word is God's truth. And God's truth is designed to leave us free from the shackles of sin. After all, Jesus said a long time ago, John chapter 8, verses 31 and 2, If ye continue in my word, then are ye my disciples indeed, and ye shall know, not ye shall feel, but ye shall know, not ye shall experience, but ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. Every individual ought to seek and search in the book of God so he or she can know the truth. And in knowing the truth, be assured that they are free from their past sins. I'm delighted to be with you. I'm delighted to see all of you who have come. Normally, Monday night is a slow night. But you're here and you are not a part of those slow individuals. Uh, we appreciate your commitment and your desire to be a part of this service. I suppose before I begin tonight, I need to express my personal apologies for not being here on yesterday. Uh, we were in Los Angeles, California. Uh, we had been there most of the week along with uh, Dr. W.F. Washington of Fort Lauderdale Flower, whom I'm sure many of you, if not all of you know. I would ask that you open your Bible with me to the book of Peter, 1 Peter, chapter 1. And I would hope that you have a Bible with you. And I want you to look with me as I read several verses from this chapter and it shall form the avenue of our discussion tonight. First Peter chapter 1. And I want to commence reading at verse number 9. First Peter chapter 1. And verse number